The Enthusiasm Gap Why America's Political Excitement Doesn't Always Translate to Victory The political landscape in the United States is one of passion, division, and a persistent sense of deja vu. One such moment of repetition is the enthusiasm that surrounded Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign and the current excitement for Vice President Kamala Harris as a potential future candidate. Both figures represent historic possibilities, Clinton as the first woman president and Harris as the first woman of color in the White House. Yet, history shows us that enthusiasm doesn't always lead to electoral success. In 2016, Hillary Clinton launched her presidential campaign with significant fanfare. She was a seasoned politician with years of experience, a strong policy background, and the backing of the Democratic establishment. Many Americans were excited at the prospect of electing the first female president, believing that her election was not only possible but inevitable. However, despite winning the popular vote by nearly three million, she lost the Electoral College to Donald Trump, an outcome that shocked many and led to a wave of analysis, introspection, and, for some, despair. Fast forward to today, and we see a similar enthusiasm brewing around Kamala Harris. As the first woman, first black woman, and first South Asian American to serve as vice president, Harris carries a mantle of historic significance. She has a strong base of support among progressives, women, and minority voters. The media often highlights her potential as the next Democratic candidate for president, and there's a palpable excitement in certain circles about what her candidacy could represent. But if Clinton's campaign taught us anything, it's that enthusiasm among a segment of the population doesn't necessarily translate into widespread electoral victory. While Harris's supporters may be passionate, the broader electorate remains deeply divided. The factors that led to Trump's victory in 2016 economic anxiety, cultural divisions, and a desire for an outsider to shake up Washington haven't gone away. In fact, they've intensified in many parts of the country. Donald Trump's appeal lies in his ability to tap into the fears and frustrations of a significant portion of the American electorate. To his supporters, he represents a rejection of the political establishment, of which Clinton was a prominent figure and Harris is now seen as a part. His rhetoric, though often divisive and controversial, resonates with voters who feel left behind by globalization, marginalized by shifting cultural norms, or simply disillusioned with traditional politics. Harris, despite her historic achievements and appeal to certain demographics, may face the same hurdles as Clinton. Her association with the Biden administration, which has had its share of challenges, could be used against her by Republicans eager to portray her as out of touch with average Americans. Additionally, the very enthusiasm that her supporters have may be seen as a liability in swing states or among voters who are skeptical of progressive policies. The enthusiasm gap, therefore, is a significant factor in American politics. Just as Clinton's supporters underestimated the appeal of Trump in 2016, there's a risk that Harris's supporters could do the same in the future. The reality is that while progressive and liberal voters may be enthusiastic about Harris, the broader electorate remains a complex and unpredictable entity. Moreover, the ongoing polarization in American politics means that elections are often decided not by who generates the most enthusiasm among their base, but by who can sway the undecided voters in key swing states. Trump's victory in 2016 was a stark reminder that enthusiasm among a vocal minority doesn't always win elections. In many ways, the excitement for Harris mirrors the excitement for Clinton, history-making potential that energizes a base but may not be enough to secure the presidency. In conclusion, while the enthusiasm for Kamala Harris is reminiscent of the excitement that surrounded Hillary Clinton's campaign, the lessons of 2016 should not be forgotten. The American electorate is complex, and enthusiasm alone won't win an election. As history has shown, what matters most is the ability to connect with a broad spectrum of voters, particularly in the key battleground states. Without that connection, the enthusiasm of a candidate's supporters may once again fall short against the political force that is Donald Trump.